Hello everybody and welcome to another video sewn by Nikki. So today we are going to make um, this pretty cool gift card holder. Um, I was recently on vacation and I had tons of cards in my wallet and it made me, um, after my husband complained, it made me think about it that I can just make something just to put all the extra cards that I don't need besides my debit card um, and put them in something separate um, so that my wallet is not as poofy. So we're going to make this today. This is super easy and um, you'll be done with it fairly quickly. Um, so um, let's get started. I'll tell you what you're going to need for this project. Okay, um, scissors of course. If you have a free chopstick that I told you about in my other videos, um, go ahead and grab that. Um, snippers, if you do have them, or the scissors. Okay, you're going to need um, two pieces of fabric. These two pieces of fabric, you're going to need one that's going to be the outer fabric. In this case, I have it as my donut fabric here. So, so you need one outer, and then you're going to need an inner fabric. So I have chosen the brown for the inner fabric, um, just because I already had it cut from doing the donut um, gift card holder. So go ahead and get outer and inner. You are going to need uh, 10 inches wide, by five inches okay so ten by five for both your outer and your inner piece you're also going to need some of that um, interface that I've used before and told you about this is the Pelon 809 okay you're going to need two pieces of that which are the same size as you can see I'm going to put it right on top so you can see it's the same size um, 10 by 5 um, same size as the outer and inner fabric okay so two pieces um, one for each piece okay and then we are ready to get started all right so the first thing we are going to do let's put um, Let's put that outer fabric to the side. Let's work with the inner. And I'm staying at my table today, so I'm going to be super lazy and iron this way. <laughs> so get you something if you have an ironing board or some fabric. Um, I'm using in a terry towel that just stays here in my sewing room. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take that Pelon 809 interface. I'm going to put it shiny side up shiny side up I'm going to see if I can show you you can see it here shiny side up this is the glue um, that's on this material that you actually want to stick to your fabric and if you flip it over you see this is very dull okay this is the shiny side shiny side is the glue so put your interface shiny side up you're going to take the wrong side of your fabric okay place it face down okay and then what you're going to do is you are going to iron that down iron it on I'm using my little craft iron today because like I said I'm being lazy I'm not going over to my cutting board um, my cutting mat and my cutting table so I'm using my little awesome little um, craft iron I love it it's small and it's simple it gets the job done okay so um, hit that fabric and interface with the heat with the iron here make sure you get your edges okay okay I'm flipping it over um, just to show you if it did not stick you'd actually have some bubbles um, and in this case right now I don't have any bubbles so I know that uh, my interface is stuck it's stuck onto the fabric which is good go ahead and do the same thing for your other piece of fabric in this case it's my outer fabric so again I'm looking for that sticky side that glue and you can see the shine right there I'm going to place that face up I'm then going to put um, the outer fabric 
wrong side to the glue. Put that right on top and I'm going to hit it with the iron. Okay, never iron on top of the interface. If you iron on top of the interface, it pulls it and it doesn't give it the full effect to stick to the fabric the way that you need it to. Okay, so always iron on top of the cotton fabric that you're um, trying to adhere to the interface. Okay, I just decided just to use the football fabric because um, it's Father's Day weekend. <laughs> it's going to be Father's Day weekend. So if you were thinking about giving dad or giving your husband some, um, I don't know, give him a gift card to to Home Depot or, I don't know, Old Navy, wherever he likes to go, Dunkin' Donuts, you know, maybe you can just stick the gift cards inside of it if you have any, um, any fabric that he would like, football or golf, um, tools, anything like that. I mean, hey, if he likes birds, you can do it in birds as well. But um, I just figured if he's going to whip out a gift card from a gift card holder, it should be um, sort of a masculine fabric. <laughs> so, okay. So again, right now, um, you can see I don't have any bubbles. That's how I know that my interface is sticking. Okay, so you should um, have two pieces that look like this right now. That's all. So what we're going to do, we're going to put these pretty side to pretty side. And we know they're pretty side because on the wrong side is the interface. Okay, so put them face to face. Okay, and it's okay if they're not perfect. Um, okay, and what we're going to do at this point, we are going to, um, oh, you know what? Let's pin this just because some of you may just be beginners. So we're going to pin this to hold it in place. Okay. That didn't pin well. Okay, here we go. Pin it in place. And then what we're going to do is we are going to sew around the edges. We're going to um, start off like in the middle here. And we're going to sew all the way around the edges, around the entire thing. And we're going to stop about four fingers. Um, <laughs> four fingers. Um, and pretty much that what that's going to do is um, close up this fabric. Um but inside out okay so here we go my machine is on we're working with four layers here and although they're thin layers this interface is a little thick so put your machine um, if you actually have an option put it on 3.0 for your stitches okay your machine might turn on at uh, 2.5 but go ahead and move that to 3.0 Okay, all right, here we go. Oh, I'm going to start down here. Okay. And I'm just lining up my walking foot. I love using walking foot. Some people don't like using the walking feet. I hardly ever change my foot. Not kidding. Just because I know how to um, measure. going around it might feel a little tough um, with this layers because the purpose of this interface is to um, make your material make your product a little your item a little tougher um, sturdy so it might feel a little hard for your needle to go through if that's the case then just take your time um, it's flat but it will work out. I'm turning. I'm almost back at the beginning. It's okay if your edges are not perfect or if your interface is a tad bit shorter. This is going to be turned inside out, so no one's going to see that. Okay, I am back stitching. Remember to back stitch when you start and when you stop. Okay, so let's take this out of the machine. Okay, you can remove your pins. Go ahead and snip those corners. Snipping the corners allows you to get rid of the puck um, that it may cause, making it poofy. 
I am just snipping off a tad bit outside of my um, stitch line, which is why I said don't even worry about it being perfect because you won't see it. But I'm snipping off a little because it helps reduce the bulk when you turn it um, right side out. Okay. Okay. Snip. Okay. In that area where you left the hole right there, go ahead and turn it inside out turn it right side out and the best way to do that is i only have two fingers stuck inside of here i'm going to the corners oh look at that we need to close that up let's go back i am just making my seams wider Okay, no problem. I just made my seam a tad bit wider. It just means that it shifted when I was sewing. Okay. Okay, so now go ahead and stick your fingers inside and put that, put this all, stick in the corners turn it right side out it's really easy to turn inside out don't worry about it getting wrinkled because you're going to uh, put the iron over it a little bit okay this is where you're going to grab that chopstick um, like I told you you don't need to buy the stuffer at the store nope when you get Chinese food free chopstick all right, I'm poking those corners. If you use scissors, the thing is that you don't want to poke through your material. Um, and scissors are sharp, they're pointy. Um, what I like about the chopstick is that um, it has a little flat part at the end of it, so it doesn't go through um, your material. You see that? It's like a flat head, so it doesn't go through. Okay, and now I'm flattening this out. I, I've done all four corners. Um, if you have these little stragglies, go ahead and cut them real quick, just because when you're going to finish this up, you don't want stragglies hanging out. Okay, what we're going to do now, I'm grabbing my little iron towel here, and what we're going to do is flatten this out a bit. So grab your iron. And we want to flatten this so we're going to put a little bit of pressure on your ends okay all along your edges flatten that out and what this is also doing is if there were portions of the interface that didn't connect with the cotton fabric what it's going to do is just reinforce that and help stick it on a little bit better okay it's going to um, flatten it down and get any areas that were not um, glued down so you'll start to see that it's looking really really pretty and it's not crinkly okay notice that I'm over at the edge here right now so what we want to do is and remember snip off those stragglies what we want to do is tuck this under tucking your edges okay the bottom and the top Mm, this might take a little bit of <laughs> practice here okay so we're gonna tuck it in okay let's see if we got it even mm. you could sometimes work with the outer fabric and then work with the inner just to make sure you have it straight um, I'm going to take that out a little bit okay this is probably always the most difficult portion even when you're making pillows or anything where you have to um, close up a hole from the outside okay um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit it with the iron to flatten it okay mm, flattening this will make it really um, a lot easier in order to top stitch the top portion of it. You know what? I'm going to stick through my corner a little more, poke out my corner a little more. There we go. I just didn't like the way it was looking. 
Okay, and now I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Okay, we're almost done, almost done. This was a fairly simple project. Okay, so now what we're going to do, we want to top stitch the edge of both sides, the left and the right. So here's your left side, top stitch on the top, and here's your right side. Um, stay at that 3.0 because um, if your stitches were at 2.5, What's happening is that the material, now you have four layers and it's a little thick and hard for the needle to get um, in and out of the fabric um, if you're on 2.5. Okay, so go on 3.0 and we're going to stop top stitch close to the edge. About one eighth of an inch is good. Okay, and take this out. I'm using my snippers because I love them. I'm going to do the same thing to this side. So here's what I just did. I top stitched that portion and I'm going to top stitch the other half. Okay. off your thread close to the edge Rah. okay now at this point what we want to do I know we have not stitched up that hole yet we know that's still there okay I'm snipping the threads that were inside okay so at this point, what we're going to do now, so you have something that looks like this. Very simple, right? What we're going to do now is we want to fold up these edges so that they come up like this. We want to create something that's going to actually hold the cards in place, okay? So, so this is about two inches. Um, what we're going to do is we can measure it Okay, but this is about, hmm, we want to go fold about two inches. So let's take a look with the measuring tape and see. Um, oh, it's here. <laughs> let's take a look. Okay. Oh, I was almost at two inches. Okay, so let's um, fold it over a little bit. And this is really up to you um, how much you want to fold it over. Um, it's a personal preference because you could either choose to um, cover most of the card or if you fold it under fold it less you'll see more of the card again personal preference just make sure that you um, have it even on both sides that's not even let's see what's this one so this is one and a half this is a little less than two inches okay I'm going to do it like that a little less than two inches Mm. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to flatten this one because I like the um, I like the width of this one. Let's see. So if I stick my card in, notice the difference there. So I can see more of the card here, okay, as opposed to here where the card is almost covered. Okay, so go ahead and do that same thing. Um, um, do the same thing on the other side okay I'm going to fold this for a moment here okay 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 I'm going to flatten this here with the iron this is only this is just a temporary um, just temporary for you because we want to make sure that we hold it in place so ironing it is just allowing it to flatten out in the position that you want it okay we're going to do something before we actually sew these edges so let's put these 
edge to edge. And right now we're creating a little fold. Okay. So what we want to do is iron it. Again, what we're just doing is we are giving it um, some shape to it. And what we're going to do right now is we are going to sew down the middle of it. It actually helps it open and close easily, creating like a fold. Okay, so go ahead and sew down this middle. Sew down the line there, okay, that you've created. Okay. I'm back stitching, of course. Take your time, you're sewing through multiple layers. So right now, um, you have something that looks like this, okay? So at this point, we want to close up these edges. We want to close up these ends, which is also going to close up that area right there that we know that we left open, okay? So let's look at my needle. Take your time, and if it feel, if you feel like you're going to get stuck, again, you can increase your stitch length. I'm continuing going down about one-eighth of an inch. I'm coming to the end, I'm going to back stitch, and we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Taking off those small, you can clean it up later, but just wanted to show you, remember, take off those snips. Okay, and now I'm back on the other side. Snip off all your little edges, your um, pieces of thread. We're going to snip this off, which came from when we were sewing the line down the middle. I'm going to remove my pins. And there you have a little gift card holder. Oh, always. Go ahead and hit it with the iron, always. It makes it look um, nice and fresh, getting out all the wrinkles that you um, that you created when folding inside out. Okay, all right. And now you can um, tuck in gift cards, whatever you want. That's my Starbucks, my Panera. Okay, and that's it. So, I have two. <laughs> All right, so let me know if you have any questions. Um, I have another version of this um, that you can use as an actual wallet. Um, so, I will create another video for that, um, a little larger, um, with um, some Velcro or a magnetic strip. So, um, I'll post that video soon. But let me know if you have any questions, comments, um, or if there is something else that you would like to see. But... Go ahead and give Dad some gift cards with this in. Um, give him a gift card um, using um, one of these special wallets that you created. Okay, that's all for now. I'll see you at the next video. Bye.